Hi, this is another video on how to solve an inequality and put the number on another line. And the question says, solve the inequality, uh, 5x minus 2 is greater than or uh, greater than minus 4, but less than or equal to 13, and represent the solution on a number line. Also, write down the integer solution set. So what we've got here is we've got an inequality, but we've got two inequalities. So what you need to do is you need to split it into two separate inequalities. So over here we will solve minus 4 is less than 5x minus 2. And here we will solve 5x minus 2 is less than or equal to 13. Right, we now solve this the normal way. So the first thing would be to add 2 to both sides. If you add 2 to minus 4, you get, uh, sorry, to 5x, you get 5x. And to 4, you're going to get minus 2. Inequality sign follows down. And then we would divide by plus 5. So it has no effect on the inequality sign. So x will be uh, greater than minus 2 over 5. And then here, we do exactly the same thing, add 2 to both sides. So if we add 2 to this side, we're going to get 5x. If we add 2 to the other side, we're going to get 15. And then if we divide by 5, we're going to get uh, x is less than or equal to 3. Right, now we need to put that on a number line. So we draw a number line. So we put on the two numbers, minus 2 over 5 over 3. This doesn't really have to be to scale. Right, at minus 2 over 5, it is not equal to, so we put an open circle. Note, not filled in, not filled in as not equal to. And here we put a 3 because it is actually equal, allowed to be equal to 3. That's how we distinguish not equal to and equal to. Uh, our values are greater than this, but less than this. So we draw a line in the middle here. And the solution will be x greater than minus 2 over 5, but less than or equal to 3. Then it says write down the integer solution set. So the integer solution set. So the first integer after minus 2 over 3 is 0. The next one will be 1. The next one will be 2. And we're allowed to have 3 because it can be equal to 3. So this is called the integer solution set for that inequality. Okay, so this has been a video to, sh so to show you how to solve an inequality with two parts and then draw it, represent the solution on a number line and also write down the integer solution set. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.